Hello folks and welcome back to Ixion, where last time we are here in the Ilya system, the Piranesi is moving to Remus, and we were trying to figure out what our options are right now. And from what I see is, our option, first of all, we need to, to basically, we need a weapon to take out the, the, the Piranesi, and our weapon at the moment is basically Sector 4. Sector 4 is our weapon. It is a basically a sector full of batteries, fully charged, that when, if we ram the Tycoon into the Piranesi, should destroy the Piranesi, because these will all detonate. Um... It means, however, if we do that, people will die, obviously, so we need to figure out what to do with our people. Our first option is to go to Remus, accept what the, what the Ashtangites want, and basically biologically change our people to be uh, compatible with the Ashtangites on Remus, although that probably is going to require a trip around the system um, to collect pieces for a biological, uh, for a biogenetics modification center so that we can actually survive on Remus without having all this EVA gear and stuff. They're, being, they're, they're quite happy to have it, to, to have us join them, although we will have to join them on their terms, uh, which is basically um, living in harmony with Remus rather than exploiting its resources and changing Remus. We, we, we must change Re ourselves to fit into Remus rather than terraform Remus or alter Remus to fit us. That's the Ashton Geist's, um position. If we want to go to Remus, they're happy for us to go, but we have to change ourselves to fit Remus rather than change Remus to fit ourselves. The other option here we have is Romulus. Romulus is a planet that apparently our Eden has been hiding from us. Um, but if we send a trip there, if we send a crew there, Eden, our PA says, of course, hallucinating, there's no SIP, there's no planet here. We know from what we've heard that basically, once we, if we bypass Eden, we might see what's on Romulus. And that might be something we can do here. Right now, we have an option to disable Eden, to deactivate Eden, to deactivate our PA, who's been around since, since the beginning for five years of in- oh, no, almost ten years of in-game time. Say seven-ish years of in-game time. Um, and bypass Eden and just see what the hell's happening. Um, since I kind of want to do both of these eventually, um, I don't even know if it is. A, I don't even know if it is a both option. I assume it's a both option. I'm assuming there's a there's a Remus option and the Romulus option. I could be wrong. I'm assuming I'm operating on the principle that there is like a choice we can make here: Romulus or Remus. Because the Remus thing will probably require dancing around the universe to find the research for the Biogen Center, which is what I'm assuming this is. Um, right now, I'm gonna deactivate Eden and see. What the Remus, what the Romulus option is. So here, let's deactivate Eden. We will be deactivating RPA. It'll take us half a cycle to do. My sensors indicate an intrusion into my containment chamber. You're not wrong. The promised land. Prepare colonists for the last stand. Prepare colonists for the colonization of Romulus. We have found Romulus. Administrator, there is no planet here. Administrator, we are the crew of the contact. We will supervise the colonization procedure. We have access to all the Romulus data. No more Eden protocols will keep us from the planet. We should start by building the necessary infrastructure. There is, however, a small issue. Romulus's atmosphere will make mass population transfer down to the planet difficult. Using cargo ships will result in a loss of 70% of colonists. Chlorine in the upper atmosphere will cause strong aerodynamic heating, which our cargo ships will not build to withstand. Construct the administrator site. Uh, we will get Gruber to do it. Gruber. I wish I could. I wish I could task more than one of them. I wish I, could, I wish I could task two ships for this. Right. Okay. So we're, Romulus is there. We found Romulus. Gruber. Hang on. We found sector one. Administrator, this is Shana Ryan from a scientific syndicate of Sector 1. The EMV Charon shuttle, the ship you arrived on, is still stored within the Tycoon. If we were to recondition it, it could carry a lot of people, many more than a cargo ship could. I mean, its heat dissipation ability alone gets me excited. We have prepared a project in the tech lab. We can break down the shuttle's plans, replicate the design, and build more shuttles. All the crew can reach Romulus. Romulus colonization protocols. Okay, tag, pause. I'm um, assuming that's part of the docking bay, yes. Romulus colonization enables the construction of human transport space shuttles from docking bays. Right. 
Right, hang on, where the hell is... Bergson, what the hell are you doing here? No! Oh, we gotta break, we gotta destroy some of these. Okay, hang on, pause. I forgot. Mule, no, mule, you fool. Um, destroy this right now. Destroy all the silicon. Destroy all the silicon. Turn that off. Pause. Um, start uh, ships. I, didn't, I was totally not paying attention to any of that. Mule, start grabbing iron in case we need iron. I was completely not, I was totally not focused on that at all. Damn. We're out of iron. We're out of... Oh, God. Um, right. I was not paying attention to that in the slightest. Again, we, we will probably have to... Oh, interesting, because the edit isn't on anymore, so I'm not sure who's sending me these transmissions. From this colonization to Ethan has been unlocked. Okay. Uh, we can build... Docking shuttles. We can build... Okay, we need construct 20 shuttles. We're out of, oh god, we're out of bloody, okay, turn that on again, turn this on. Okay, uh, build them here, right? So we can build five, one, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five here, start building. Like then I will probably have to reload, just to have an idea of what's happening here. Actually, do we have any non-colonists aboard? Any non-workers? There's one non-worker in Sector 5. Sector 5, this is Sector 5. There's only one non there's only one non-worker in Sector 5? Are you the are you the are you the, the captain of the Pridwin? Is that what's happening here? It might be. Like I said, I probably will have to. I'm doing this too late. I should have decided earlier on and made and made and made the position from there. Which is fine. We know what we're doing now. And also, this time we'll best be paying more attention and not um, overflowing with um, that. You know. We're basically dumping all of our colonists out of here. Sector four colonists zero. We're building a bunch of uh, bunch of shuttles here. Um, in fact, you here uh, stick at twenty. Stick at eighteen. Yeah, because now I will probably have to start again with the view of not having to worry about all the things that's happening over here, but. So be it, you know? We learn, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. We've chosen to go the Romulus route. The, in fact, so much so that the Remus option isn't even available anymore. We're currently building the Romulus over there. We've constructed six shuttles. We're currently building them up. We have iron coming in now, so... You can pause right now. Let's turn you off. we got plenty of water, right? you got plenty of water. We're going to turn you off entirely. Turn you off ent entirely. And uh, waste-wise... Sector 2? And Sector 6 new waste. Okay, so dump all waste out here. Send all waste to Sector 6. We'll be using that to, to generate more... Um, of that. Right, we've completed the action over here. Administrator, the site has been built. Energy facilities are operational. Oxygen recycling systems are up and running. The site is being monitored at mod optimal 18 degrees. We have also collected some relevant data on the atmospheric entry issue and have sent us to the Tycoon to support efforts there. Construct the Syndicate site. Groover. 
go. I wholeheartedly believe we'll have to load this again from the beginning of the previous episode. Make the choice immediately and move from there. Because I think the pernice is way too close now. It's all the way. We still have a mission available. Okay, good. Seven shuttles. I'm building three more here. The seven. Um... substance. We are glad to have persisted in existing in accordance with Bargelo's writings. Death is just an immediate layout. They're very, very accepting of their doom. I'm very sorry that I, it was my prevarication that caused the problem here. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're queuing up all of them. Oh god, they found a missile already? Ah, nope. The Ashton Guides always speak in the worst possible time. <laughs> At the worst possible moment, the Ashton Guides speak. Like I said, we're probably going to reload. I'm happy to see what happens at the end here, this the failure state. Because technically, we haven't actually hit failure state yet. We've hit, like... Doomed states and what I consider what I would consider to be very problematic states, but nothing technically I would call a full-on doom state. Shuffles available eleven. Yeah, it was my fault. It was my fault way very early on. I completely zoned out on the fact that carbon is going to be a problem. But I, I, I let silicon pile up. I wasn't paying attention at all. It is a huge issue. It's definitely my my problem here. Uh, we're gonna get a bunch of colonize a bunch of colonists here. Twenty shuttles to build. Right. Hope it's Gruber on his way. Yeah, Gruber on the way. To drop off the colonists to build this uh, this site. Okay, they're gonna start building now, I believe. It's gonna start four cycles to build. Probably trouble. We're building a bunch of more here. So we have 14 and uh, 13 and 14 queued up with enough uh, polymer to build. One point nine, one point seven, six, five. Hydrogen is completely pointless. We didn't even use hydrogen in the end at all. Our total solar cells are completely fine. In this difficulty setting, maybe maybe high difficulty setting is going to be a problem, but not here. Open your eyes, administrator, and see see how I reduced the prospects of the future. They are only fit for assimilation in my bowels. Bowels. See how even a planet is nothing compared to the perfect being. Right, pause. Syndicate site is finished. Agricultural systems are operational. The infirmary is ready and stocked. The research labs have been set up with all the necessary equipment. We have completed more than half of the work required to colonize Remus. Yeah, we have we have way too much time for this. Construct the Ashton Guide site. Yeah, okay, fair enough. There's gonna, there's gonna, there's, there's, we have we have way bigger problems. Way bigger problems here. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll we'll let this reach the its natural conclusion. Oh God. Okay. 
We, let, we shall let this be to national. We've got 14 shuttles already built. How's our queuing up going? 15 shuttles queued up. It's arrived. The Piranesi is here. Basically, the second I reload the game, which we probably will have to do, I must make the choice immediately. And I'm going to pick, first of all, the Romulus choice because it is the choice we pick now. I'm not going to change directions right now. And then we're going to see what happens. Six, 16 shuttles done. Where's Gruber? So we need to, we need to build four sites and the and the shuttles. At which point you have to vacate everybody. We have to evacuate the entire bloody planet. Ernesti has arrived. All temples have been disabled due to an accident. Basically, we have we have been hit by a missile. We have been hit by a missile. A bunch of stuff has been damaged, unfortunately. All temples have been disabled. There's a fire in Sector 2. A bunch of damage has happened. So, Rumus has been destroyed. Which means now the real... It's now we're really moving to Romulus. We'll do what we can. We will do what we can, I think. So what I might do is I might move the tycoon to Romulus itself, mainly because that means it'll make it'll make building anything at Romulus way faster. I should have done that ages ago. Should have done that a long time ago. Realize that what we need to do is to um, Remus has been vitrified. The Piranesi has killed the planet. There's nothing left on its surface. Yeah, so we're definitely going to do the reload after all this. We will let... Well, let's not skip this time, in case there's anything missing here. I don't think there is. We've reached Romulus, which is a planet that can, in theory, support our life. Not perfect, clearly there's a lot of chlorine in the upper atmosphere, which is, you know, not great. Um, which is weird. Chlorine in the upper atmosphere doesn't really work. Chlorine is a heavy gas. I'm not entirely sure how we can live on a planet that has chlorine in the upper atmosphere. But so be it. Um, right, we've built enough shuttles. All the shuttles have been built. Turn that on. More missiles coming out. These counter missiles happen. So I am going to reload, I think. I'm tempted to actually let it hit Romulus and see what happens. <laughs> we're, we're building the Ashton Guide site. So I don't want to see what happens if we lose. Because surely if Remus and Romulus are destroyed, it means we have nowhere to go. There are no more colonizable planets. We have nowhere to jump to. We have no more jump coordinates of any kind. There are no more colonizable planets. So I'm kind of tempted this episode to let the Piranesi just delete both Romulus and Remus. Well, Remus already, but also Romulus before we colonize. Because this is, this was me, this is all a function of me just prevaricating and, you know, not doing what needs to be done. Uh, we've got plenty of water coming in. Pridwin doesn't bring anyone in necessarily. Excuse me. Um, I wonder if, if, if we had the Ashton Guides to decide, could we have pulled the Ashton Guides from Remus to Romulus? Would they have even wanted to if we managed to save Remus? You know? Is that even something we would have wanted to do? Construction of the Ashtan Guide site has been completed. The multi factor allows to transform the raw materials of Romulus into usable resources. The vehicle storage bay and technical maintenance teams are operational. The first human city in Romulus has just been born. So fly the tycoon into, into the Piranesi via the planetary map. Okay, how, I mean, have, we, have we managed to evacuate everybody? 
Hang on, how, how, does evacuation work now? We have enough shuttles. Fly the Tycoon into the Pioneer via the planetary map. I kind of want to let them hit. I, I, I kind of want to let them hit us. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to let them hit us just to see what the hell happens. Do you have any carbon in space? We have some carbon. Bluebird, uh, blue blue cap, go pick up some carbon. I am curious to see what happens. I might just like also, depending how long it takes, I'll cut out a bit. This might take more than the next 10 minutes to get that done. So just fly the... But surely we have to evacuate the entire station for that to happen. That's how that works, right? You have to, you have to collect the entire station for that to happen. Send the contact to Remus just to see what the hell's left over there. So actually, chapter five is therefore quite short. Chapter two was definitely the hardest chapter so far. I mean, because I had to get I had to get myself out of the uh, the death spiral. Huh. Right now, again, we could just fly the, the, the Piranesi into the Tycoon into the Piranesi, but I kind of want to see what happens if we delay this too long. Nothing. There are, there's no more voices because Eden has been disabled. Um, we clearly didn't find. If you go into the science lab while waiting for all this stuff to happen, go into the science area. We clearly didn't find the. Post decronization treatment at the Chronic Center. I'm not sure where we were supposed to get that. We didn't find it at all. Or the instant sterilization. We didn't find these at all. Is there anything else we're missing here? The stuff that we would not have been able to locate otherwise? We found the uh, Romulus colonization. One, I'm assuming that's the tech, the biotech place. That we needed to find, that we needed to do with this. There's not enough food in Sector 1? Hang on, are we out of are we out, how are we out of food? How are we out of food? How are we out of food? What are my drones doing? Why is why where where's the food gone? No oh, seriously, where the hell where the hell is the food? Why is why why are we having food problems? Sector five has got a bunch of people. From... There, there shouldn't be that much. What are my drones doing? Food stuff. Why is the food stuff causing problems? Why are there no, why is there no food in sector five and sector and sector and sector one? What the hell is happening here? Sector six. How much food do you need? In sector six. Sector four needs a bunch. No, sector four needs some food as well. We're gonna dump this in there. We're gonna dump these down here just to split some food up. Because what the hell happened to the food? Where are these drones? What the Sam hell happened to the drones? Uh, counter missile. What the hell happened to the? F Where are the drones for sector two? No, seriously, where the hell are the drones for sector two? This is vitally important. 
We have a bunch of extra food here. That's not earmarked for anything. There's definitely like way too much food here. They can this can drop down tremendously. Where are the drones? Drone bay has been to sector six. Sector six is fine. I don't care about sector. I don't care about sector two. Why are these drones not doing anything? Have we reached end game and things are just glitching out now? They're powered by Eden, aren't they? Those drones are powered by Eden. They're automated. Without Eden to do anything, the drones are useless. We haven't got a PA anymore. I have no more drones. That's a severe issue. That is a huge issue. Oh, crap. Um. You ki- oh, are you kidding me? No, 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 don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. No, 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 no. Do not do this to me. We have no more drones. Drones are now useless because we have no more... The drone bays are con are controlled by the PA, and I haven't got a PA anymore. They're automated. Oh god, this is going to be a severe problem. This is going to cause severe issues. We can win at any time. I want this. I want the, the damn thing to hit us. I want to see what happens if the Piranesi wipes out Romulus as well. Oh, because as far as I'm aware, we are we are at win state. If I do this, we win. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, if we do this, we win. If we have enough shuttles to take everyone down. That's not a problem. Which I'm assuming is required no matter what. Well, I guess we only, that's not entirely true. Then we only need the shuttles because the cargo ships can't move fast enough in the upper atmosphere to get everyone down fast enough. That's the only reason we need the shuttles for Romulus. Remus doesn't have that problem. Four hundred and seventy-five people are starving in the sector. Okay, let's, can we get them out of here? Um, okay, let's, let's look at let's look at the amount of people. How many people are in sector two? We can get another one hundred and fifty people in sector two. So any you know, hang on. Sector one has give me any colonists from sector one to sector two. Now. 722 minus 571 is going to be what? About 150? 722 minus 571. 151. Not too bad. Uh, 150, get, get 151 people out of colonists out of sector 1 to sector 2. Just to basically help lower that damn number down. Do we still have drones? If we still have drones, what the hell is happening? If we still have drones, what is the issue? Why are we having massive problems with with food with, with food spreading around? We have enough food. We have way more than enough food. We have so much food, it's unreal right now. I'm very confused as to why we have lack of food. Resolve starvation as soon as possible, please. Thank you. Go back to food. Max out food on everyone. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. We just didn't have drones for a while. Is it the fact that drone this drone bay was damaged was affecting all drone bays everywhere? That makes no sense. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there, we're kind of stable, so we might just see what happens when everything is destroyed. Romulus won't protect you from my appetite. Stop struggling. Prepare yourself. You are about to become more than just a different human. Ah. Whoop. Let us The Naraka is almost here. Naraka has almost arrived. I think I managed to stabilize the food situation as well. Thankfully. Okay, we're almost there. It's as, it's as close as it's gonna get, I think. 
Almost no time at all. See what happens if the Piranesi wins. The Piranesi has launched a missile target. Doesn't matter. Uranus was destroyed. The new cradle of humanity has been destroyed. There's no more hope, no more future. Even the collapse of ecosystems seems sweet compared to the veracity of the Piranesi. Right, folks. I was expecting, I was hoping for more of a cutscene of us like becoming the Piranesi and the Piranesi winning and the Naraka having like its ending speech. Not the case. However, Romulus was destroyed. Remus was destroyed. This is our we lose scenario. I'll be back next time with hopefully a more beneficial one because we're going to restart from the beginning of LP40, well, that one, the end of LP41, which was the beginning of the week. We will state, we will first make our, we will make our, our eh, we will make our initial decision immediately. We're going to go straight into the um, turning off of Eden. They got back, back, straight back out into space. Pernese has arrived. We're going to go straight back out into space. Do a bunch of science. Actually, we don't even need to do the science, do we? Even, this, even the science is kind of pointless. Um, we'll do straight into Romulus and carry on from there next time, folks. See you then. Bye-bye.